After the year we just had, job searching has definitely changed. So let's talk about what job searching is going to look like for at least the rest of 2021. Okay, so before we get into it, if we haven't met before, my name is Cassandra and I help motivated professionals build their careers through practical tips to gain career confidence. I wanna give you actionable things that you can do. So let's talk about a couple of ways that job searching is definitely different for 2021. First, finding jobs is different. Yes, there are the tried and true places, but there are also a lot of new sites to be looking at for where to find jobs. In fact, I recently did a video all about the new places to look, so I'll put a link to that in the description box below. But you definitely need to change up where you're finding jobs. And of course, networking is still important, but how we network, where we're finding people has changed. A year or two ago, I would have told you, hey, go to events, go to LinkedIn locals, go to regional association in-person events, get to know people in your industry, but we don't have those anymore. So where we're finding the people to network with is different. Clubhouse is a huge one right now. Also LinkedIn events that are virtual, meetup.com, Eventbrite, holding virtual events. These are the new places where we're going to meet new people and find new job opportunities. And of course, I think one of the best ways to find jobs through people is by doing coffee. Have coffee with somebody. But now coffees have gone virtual, right? You have virtual coffee with somebody and it's way more efficient. You don't have to drive to meet them. You don't have to stress to find parking. And also we just do things faster online. So instead of the hour coffee you would normally have, I think you can ask somebody for 20 minutes. Even 10 would shock you how much you can say and learn in 10 minute Zoom calls with somebody. So use that to your advantage. It's kind of a bummer. I do think there is something about meeting in person, but it's a lot more efficient. You can meet a lot more people with this new way of finding jobs, of learning about opportunities. So this means we need to change up how we're finding jobs. We need to get on Clubhouse. We need to raise our hand in rooms and introduce ourselves. We need to maybe ramp up how many informational interviews, how many coffees we are doing because we can do them online and knock out quite a few more a week because we're not driving anywhere. Second thing that's different, the types of jobs are different. Now, I'm not just talking about which industries are thriving right now. I'm saying the actual type of work. There's a lot of research that's starting to come out that's showing we're moving away from full-time corporate permanent positions to more contract-based work freelance work, consultant work, and you may need to take that into account. Now, I first started hearing about this anecdotally. I have friends that work in social media, they work at agencies, and they were talking about, we're hiring more and more contract workers. Why would you hire a permanent full-time editor when you can hire someone on a contract basis per project that they're working on at their agency? And they said, you know, I think we're going to go more and more the direction of not hiring full time and just continually hiring per contract. But it's not just an anecdote. I'm going to read this for you because I want to get it correct. So Harvard Business School has a research project called Project on Managing the Future of Work. And the business school's Henderson Institute found that 90% of companies surveyed see a future competitive advantage in shifting their talent model to a blend of full-time and freelance employees. With a surge taking place in remote work due to COVID-19, the move to an on-demand workforce is expected to accelerate. This means they are going to go more for these contract-based freelance work positions. Now, if you want to be a doctor, you're probably not going for contract work. But I've been working with some project managers lately who really want full-time positions. And we've had to have some hard conversations about you might be doing things on a project by project basis for a little. You might be looking at those contract-based jobs to get your foot in the door at certain companies to start building a reputation. So maybe we need to shift away from only looking at full-time positions and start looking at contract positions as well. And then Probably not surprising, but it does seem that remote work is here to stay, or some companies are starting to do a flex model of three days in the office, two days 
not in the office or vice versa, some sort of flex model. And this isn't for everybody, y'all. Even though I now work for myself and work for home, I really can't wait to get in a co-working space. I like, if you follow my Instagram, you know, I like working from coffee shops. I want to be around people. And so for some of us, this remote work from home thing is a bit harder to adjust to. If you are one of those people and you're seeing jobs that are saying they're remote, I still think you should apply, but I would definitely, if you get to the interview process, have a conversation about, is there any re-entry plan or is this permanent? Or if it is permanent, is there any sort of allowance for using a co-working space for being around people. Or maybe you just have to come to the decision that remote work might not be the thing for you and that cancels out some companies or some types of positions. That's okay. We have to make these sort of adjustments and decisions based on what works for us. But just know it does seem like remote is here to stay. Now for others of you, you're like, yes, I don't have to pay for gas or the bus. I don't have to spend time traveling anywhere. This is awesome. For some, this might be a really great thing. For others, mm, it might not be our favorite, but try and figure out how you can work with it if it's for you at all. Okay, the third thing that's different, the job search process is getting more and more automated on the recruiter side. Now, yes, we already knew probably, I'm guessing most of us already knew that our resumes go through the ATS system. We've talked about this for years. It's why you have to keyword match your resume to the job description so you show up as a match in their system. That's a part of automation. But maybe you've also done a lot more of those higher view style interviews, the pre-recorded question on one end, and then it pops up to record you answering and you never actually talk with another human being. Have you seen those ramp up? I've heard more and more people getting those types of interviews and they seem here to stay. With so many more people looking for jobs, these automations are sort of a necessary evil. While it does take away a bit from the candidate experience on one end, it's just a way for these recruiters to be able to get through the influx of applications that they're getting. But there are some really nice improvements to the candidate experience that have come with these automations. So for example, companies are starting to do a lot more in terms of trying to onboard you in the job search process at their company. There's a lot more emails being sent on what they're looking for in a candidate, on letting you know about their mission and values, making sure you're prepared for the interview process. Things that years ago, you would just get the phone call saying, hey, you have an interview on Friday. Is there anything important I should know? And oh, uh, I don't know. Am I ready? Just know that while, yeah, some of it has taken away the personal touch, if they're doing it right, some companies through this automation are giving you a lot more information to make you a strong competitive candidate. So those are three of the major ways that I am seeing job searching change in 2021. What would you add to this list? I would love to know in the comments section below. I read every single comment. And if you haven't already, be sure to get that job search checklist down below. It'll walk you through how to get through the whole job search process, totally free to you. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell so you know when new videos come out. Give this one a thumbs up if you thought it was helpful and I'll see you next time. Bye.